Hey guys, um, this is Fabio from 3D Dreaming. I just wanted to um, to uh, drop a quick video for you uh, this week. Um, basically, I wanted to tell you that uh, us at 3dDreaming.com, we have been working very hard to bring you a new infrastructure, a new website, uh, which is currently under production. And... Um, Basically, as a thank you for you know following us and uh, support us all the time, um, I decided to uh, give you a little extra bonus. It's nothing really special. I was actually going through the stuff that I prepared for my thesis a couple of years ago, and I found a, uh, a little nice component. It's a cluster, uh, grasshopper cluster, that basically uh, allow you to uh, build uh, simple staircases from a um, uh, a profile curve. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how this works. Uh, the only thing that you have to do with this um, uh, component, basically what you have to do, you have to define the starting point into the uh, 3D view so that you uh, are sure that this line will start on the uh, um, uh, Z0 and then you can define the height somewhere else in another view. So we got the profile curve, let's rotate it, and we're just going to go to our component, set the one curve button, and there you go, you got your stair. Basically this is a parametric uh, definition, meaning that you, know, uh, you can uh, change the stair width, the plinth height, so this uh, element on the side, uh, the plinth thickness, yeah, you can make it uh, thick, slimmer. The number of steps, uh, the banister height, and of course the banister radius, as well as the radius for the columns. And I guess I also did a. Um, uh, there must have been a uh, a button with which you can you could change the amount of counts and also the possibility to switch between columns and glass. I'm pretty sure that if I uh, open the cluster um, there we go. I might be able to find it somewhere. Let's see what is this count. Oh, there it is. So you got the count as well. Well, you know, you get the 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 whole definition. You can just go to um, you can just open it up, explore it, and see how I um, um, built it. And you know, uh, at the end, you can uh, save it and close it and keep using it as a ready-made uh, solution. Basically, the cool thing about this definition is that uh, as long as you work on uh, these coordinates x, y, z. Uh, it should give you a, uh, a stair no matter what you do. So for instance, if you, uh, let's say, create a uh, helix, there it is, let's define the z-axis, there you go, and the width, and then we set this curve instead, yeah, the definition still works, yeah? So have fun, let us know what you think about it, and uh, you know, keep sharing the, the, the stuff that we post on Facebook and on Twitter, keep following us, and um, thanks again for, uh, for everything. So good luck with everything, and if you have any questions or any comments, just get in touch, we'll try to answer you uh, as quickly as possible.